introduction, semin infinite set theory. A semi infinite structure on a set S is the datum of a subset S plus an S defined up to adjoining or removing a finite number of elements from S. The subset S plus an S, as well as any other subset S plus prime in S for which the symmetric difference between a S plus and S plus prime is finite, is called a semi infinite subset in S, while the complement is called a co semi infinite subset. Given a field K and a set S with a semi infinite structure, one can construct a topological K vector space, the direct sum over T in S, in S but not in S plus KT, plus the direct product over, over S in S prime KS, which remains unchanged when one removes a finite number of elements from S plus or adjoins to S plus a finite number of elements from S. The set S is a topological basis in the natural, in the natural topology on V S S plus. Logical vector spaces of this form are called locally linearly compact or Tate vector space. Semi infinite linear algebra. More precisely, a complete separated topological k vector space is called linearly compact or pseudo compact or profile dimensional if it has a base of neighborhoods of zero consisting of vector subspaces of finite codimension. A topological vector space is called locally linearly compact if it has a linearly compact open subspace. The standard example of a set with a semi infinite structure is the set of all integers with a semi infinite subset of positive integers. The related topological vector space VSS plus is the vector space of Laurent, Laurent formal power CS Q of T. Semi infinite geometry. Semi infinite geometry can be informally defined as a study of ge geometric shapes with local coordinates in indexed by sets with semi infinite structure. For, for a semi infinite variety y with local coordinates y s indexed by a set s with the semi infinite subset s plus and s, it makes sense to assume that for every point p and y, the set of all indices s such that y s of p is not zero is contained in some semi infinite subset s plus prime in s depending on the point p. The standard example of a semi infinite algebraic variety is the underlying affine algebraic variety y of the space of Laurent formal power series q of t. Let us write f of t is equal to sum over n and z y n t to the power n for a generic element f of t in k of t. Then y n n and z is a local is a global coordinate system on y indexed by the set s equal to z, the set of integers with the standard semi infinite structure. The condition above is satisfied for every f in k of t, the set of all n in z such that y n is not equal to zero is at most semi infinite, which means it is contained in the union of s plus which is z greater equal to zero, greater than zero with a finite set of non-positive integers. Summary of the standard example. Continuing with the standard example, consider, consider the ring of... Sorry? Sorry? Continuing with the standard example, consider the, set of, uh, the ring of polynomials in the double infinite sequence of variables by n. Let us say that an R model m is torsion if for every m in m there exists L less than zero, such that by n, m is equal to zero for all n less than L. Alternatively, one, one can think of torsional modules as of discrete modules of the topological ring, the projective limit over L less than zero, Q of y L, etc., y minus one, y zero, y one, y two, etc. Of functions, this is the topological ring of regular functions, polynomial functions on the ring of Laurent power series. The category A of equal to R mod tors of torsion R modules is abelian. The aim of this talk is to explain how to define a certain exotic derived category of the abelian category A, called the semi-derived category of torsion R modules, and known as DC of A, DSI of A. So, so, so that DSI of A is naturally a tensor triangulated category. The tensor product operation diamond on DSI of A is called the semi-tensor product. The, the triangulated category DSI of A is constructed as the triangulated Verdier quotient category of the Cauchy homotopy category of unbounded complexes in A by a certain thick subcategory ACK at C of A. So D C of A is, uh, is K of A over I ACK C of A. The thick, in fact, localizing to thick subcategory closed under direct sums of subcategory of complexes to be killed is properly contained in the full subcategory of acyclic complexes in A. So arc C of A is contained and not equal to arc of A. So some acyclic complexes in the abelian category A represent non-zero objects in the semi-derived category. 
In particular, the unit object of the tensor structure on TSI of A turns out to be an acyclic complex in this example. Same thing, exterior forms. Consider the topological vector space K of T and let uh, of, of, of Laurent power series and let EI e e equal to T to the power I be the standard topological basis in it. We would like to define a Z graded or rather, or rather infinity over two plus Z graded vector space of semi infinite exterior forms consisting of infinite wedge products like E0, wedge E1, wedge E2, wedge E3, wedge etc. One can delete a finite number of EIs with, with I greater or equal to zero from the wedge product star and adjoin a finite number of EJs with J less than zero, obtaining other basis vectors of lambda infinity over two plus star of V. Let the basis vector star have the gradient infinity of lambda plus zero. Then deleting M vectors EI from the wedge product star and adjoining N new vectors EJ instead produces an infinite wedge product representing a basis vector of lambda infinity of lambda plus star of B having gradient infinity of lambda plus N minus M. One would like to define the graded vector space lambda infinity of lambda plus star of V in a more invariant way, not depending on the choice of a basis in V. But there is a problem. If both the expressions E0, which E1, which E2, which E3, which etc., and 2E0, 2E1, 2E3, 2E2, 2E3, etc., represent some vectors in the space of semi infinite forms, then these two vectors should naturally differ by multiplication with a scalar. But the scalar is undefined because you cannot take the infinite product of, of, of the scalar too. Similarly, one can write E1, which is 0, which E3, which E2, which E5, which E4, which E7, which E6, transposing every, every pair of vectors, which should differ from the original wedge product by plus minus sign, but it's possible to say whether it should be plus or minus one. It turns out that the projectivization of the vector space of semi infinite forms is well defined for any locally linearly compact K vector space. Choosing a linearly compact open subspace W in V, one can contract a well defined graded, graded vector space of semi infinite forms, depending on W. Changing W by W prime, one has natural isomorphism like this. So there is a, a, a shift of the grading by lower case D and a twist of the vector space by. D is an integer, a relative dimension, and capital D is a one dimensional k vector space, relative determinant. Specifically, the construction is so you take uh, the direct limit over all the open subspaces U in W of the infinite dimensional vector space of the, the, the usual direct sum of 10 of exterior powers of V over U, then the one dimensional vector space, one dimensional twist. Of the, of the space of top to, to, top exterior power of V over W dual, of W over U dual. Summary of the standard example finished. Returning to the semi infinite product operation, semi standard product operation on the semi drive category, consider the one dimensional model K with the zero action of the variables by I. Then the semi standard product K diamond K in DSI of R motors. If the, w, if the W unbounded complex of our modules, lambda infinity of lambda over plus star, infinity over two plus star K of T, with the zero action of the variables by I and zero differential. The dimensional shifts in the terminal L twist, which I mentioned, arise from certain choices one has to make when defining the semi tender product operation on the semi drive category of torsion modules. Examples. Drive category of modules. Let us list some let's need some simpler examples which fit into the general theory of special cases. Let B be a commutative ring. Then the unbounded derived category of B modules is the tensor triangulated category with respect to the operation of left derived tensor product of complex of B modules. The unbounded left derived tensor product is contracted using homotopy flat or homotopy projective resolutions of complex of B modules. The B module B is the unit object of the standard structure. Examples. So uh, this is, I don't know how to, oh, good. This is derived category of torsion abelian groups. Let A be the abelian category of torsion abelian groups. The abelian category A has a natural monoidal structure with the unit object Q over Z. 
The torsion product operation providing this monoidal structure can be defined as A T Q over Z B is tor the, the, the first tor group over Z of A and B. The torsion product is a, is a left exact function. The right derived functor of torsion product constructed using injective co-resolutions make the derived category of torsion abelian groups a tensor triangulated category. The, the tensor triangulated category G of A can be embedded into the derived category of abelian groups, all abelian groups, with the shifted tensor product operation. A, B goes to the derived left derived tensor product shifted by minus one. As a tensor triangulated subcategory with, with its own unit object, the unit object Z of one of the monoidal structure on G of Z mod is different from the unit object Q, Q over Z of G of Z mod TORS. Drive category of torsion K of X modules. This example is similar to the previous one. So let K of X be the ring of polynomials in one variable X over a field K. Let's say that a K of X module M is extortion. If for every M in M, there exists N greater or equal to one, this is X to the power N multiplied by M is zero. Consider the abelian category of extortion K of X module, denoted by A. The abelian category A has a natural monoidal structure with a proof module being the unit object. The torsion product operation providing this monoidal structure can be defined as the function tor1 over k of x from m to m. Once again, the torsion product is a left exact functor. The right derived functor of torsion product, constructed using injective co-resolutions, makes, makes the derived category of extortion k of x modules a tensor triangulated category. Co-derived category of co-modules. The category of extortion k of x modules is otherwise known as the category of co-modules over the co-algebra C dual to the topological algebra of Taylor formal power series. The co-algebra C is defined explicitly at the k-vector space with the base 1 star x star x squared star x3 x cubed star, etc. The co-multiplication is given by this formula and the co-unit is given by this formula. Example 2b can be generalized to arbitrary co-commutative co-algebra over a field. Example three, let C be a associated for commutative co unit of algebra over a field K, that the abelian category of C co modules has natural monoidal structure with the unit object C. The cotensor product operation providing this monoidal structure defines as follows the cotensor product M of cotensor CN of two co modules M and N is the kernel of the difference of two natural maps, which are both used by the correction of C, one of the one is induced by the correction of C and M, and one is induced by the correction of C and M. The quadrant category of C modules is simply defined as the commodity category of unbounded complex of injective C modules. This is the quadrant category, not the derived category. But this is not enough. One wants to be able to assign a quadrant category object to an arbitrary complex of C modules. So if we define the quadrant category as the commodity category of complex of injectives, then to an arbitrary complex of C modules, we still want to assign the complex of injectives. And for this purpose, a complex of C modules is to be quasi cyclic if the complex from C from A to J is a cyclic for every complex of injective C modules J. The quadrant category can then be defined as the quotient category, the homotopy category of C modules by the full subcategory of quasi cyclic complexes. But the localizing, frequent, in fact, localizing subcategory of quasi cyclic complexes. And can show that the composition of triangulated functors. From the homotopy category of, of complex of injectives to the homotopy category of complex of arbitrary co-modules to the quotient by the classic mix is a triangulated equivalence. This is the quadrat category of C-modules. The definition of the quadrat category of, of C-modules, as per the previous slide, is valid for any associative algebra over a field K. When the algebra is for community, one can define a derived derived cotensor product operation on the quadrat category. By taking the cotensor products of complex of injective comodules, and in fact, for any complex of injective comodules and any quasi cyclic complex of comodules, the complex of cotensor products is quasi cyclic. So it suffices to replace only one of the two complexes of C comodules by a complex of injectives before taking the cotensor product. The quadrat category of C comodules and dot with the derived cotensor product operation, derived cotensor product functor, becomes a tensor triangulated category. The C comodules C is the unit object. Example, an Ethereum scheme with the dualizing complex. Let X be an Ethereum scheme. The quadrat category of quasi coherent sheaves on X is simply defined as the homotopy category of unbound complex of injective quasi coherent sheaves. Once again, one wants to be able to assign a quadrat category object to an arbitrary complex of quasi coherent sheaves. And this has the next definition, and this is similar to the previous slide. A complex of quasi coherent sheaves is said to be quasi cyclic if the complex of abelian groups form 
complex of homes of between two complexes of basic coherent shifts is a cyclic polarity complex of ejective basic coherent shifts chain. The polarity of category can be alternatively defined as the quotient category by the quasi cyclic of the homotopy category of, of complexes of basic coherent shifts by the localizing subcategory of quasi cyclic complexes. One can show that the composition of triangulated functors from the homotopy category of complex of injectives to the whole homotopy category of complex of quasi coherent shifts to the quotient by the quasi cyclics is a triangulated equivalence. This is the quadratic category of quasi coherent shifts. A complex of injective quasi coherent shifts D on X of a dualizing complex if T is homotopy equivalent to, bound, to a bounded complex of injective quasi coherent shifts, the, homo the homology shifts of G of T are coherent shifts. And the natural morphism of complexes of shifts of OX modulus from X to home, the homothetic morphism, if you call it, is the quasi isomorphism of complexes of shifts of OX modulus. Given a scheme X, one can consider the exact category of flat quasi coherent shifts. But to any exact category, one can assign to it the its unbounded derived category G of X cog, XQ cog flat. The triangulated category D of XQ cog flat is the quotient category of the homotopy category of complex of flats, but localizing subcategory of a cyclic complex of flat shifts is flat shifts of cosigns. This is from the definition of the derived category of an exact category. There is a theorem, going back to Neyman and Murphy, if let X be semi-separated from theorem scheme with dualizing complex D, then there is natural triangulated equivalence between the derived category of flat quasi coherent shifts and the co-derived category of all quasi coherent shifts, depending on D. To a complex of flat shifts F, the complex of injective shifts D tends the product over OX F is assigned. The tends the product is the dualizing complex. To a complex of injective shifts J, the complex of flat quasi coherent shifts, home XQC from D to J is assigned. Here, home XQC denotes the quasi coherent internal home of quasi coherent shifts, which can be constructed by applying the coherator functor to the shifts of, shift of OX models, home OX. On any scheme X, the drive category of flat quasi coherent shifts is a tensor triangulated category with respect to the tensor product functor tensor over Rx. On a semi separated Noetherian scheme X with the dualizing complex D, one can transfer the tensor structure of D of X to Hoch flat along the triangulated equivalence with the co derived category. This makes the co makes the derived category a tensor triangulated category with the unit object D. The resulting operation on, on D core of X to Hoch is called the cotensor product and noted by cotensor product over D. So D core of X to is a tensor triangulated category with respect to the cotensor product of the dualizing complex. Explicitly, let M and N be two complexes of quasi coherent shifts. And let M to J and N to K be two morphism, be two morphism with quasi cyclic cones, where J and K are complexes of injectives. Then the three complexes. So one can take M and tensor it with the co coherator of the quasi coherent internal home from G to K, one, take, one take, can take the quasi coherent internal home from G to J and tensor it with N. And one can take the quasi coherent internal home both from to, both to J and to K and tensor it with D. So these three complexes are naturally isomorphic in the, in the quadratic category. And the three complexes above represent the quadratic category object M to tensor D. Posing the problem. We are interested in common generalization of examples 1, 4. To be more precise, first of all, we want a common generalization of examples 2, 4, torsion modulus, cumulus, and quadratic categories, to the context of in Noetherian in schemes with realizing complex. Secondly, we want to mount example 1, the right category of modulus of a community ring, on top of the common generalization of examples 2, 4. For this purpose, we will consider a flat affine morphism of in schemes, pi, from y to x, where x is an in Noetherian in scheme with realizing complex. The fibers of pi are arbitrary affine schemes. In the language of the introduction above, one can say that the coordinates along x are indexed by a cosine beam subset S minus of set of all coordinates S on pi, while the coordinates along the fiber pi are indexed by a semi infinite subset S plus. The semi derived category DSI x of y torts of quasi coherent torsion shifts of, on y relative to x is a mixture of the co derived category along the base x and the conventional unbounded derived category along the fibers. The desired operation of semi-tensor product on the semi-derived category is a mixture of the cotensor product along X and the conventional derived tensor product along the fibers. The semi-derived category with the semi-tensor product operation on it is a tensor triangulated category. The pullback inverse image of the derived 
of the dualizing complex on X. So it, it's pulled back on, on Y if the dualizing complex is the unit object of this tensor structure, which is denoted by the, 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 the tensor structure is denoted by diamond P star of DX. That, so it, it, the, the subindex is inverse image of the dualizing complex because the inverse image of the dualizing, the dualizing complex is the unit object of the standard structure. In schemes, from now on, all schemes in the stock are presumed to be quasi compact and quasi separated. Then one can define an in scheme simply as an in object in the category of schemes. So an in scheme X is equal to Dirk limit in quotes of X gamma is represented by a directed diagram of schemes X gamma indexed by a directed set gamma. The set of morphisms in the category of in schemes is defined by the rule. So home from direct limit in quotes to direct limit in quotes is the inverse limit of direct limits of homes from Y delta to X gamma. So any morphism from a scheme to an in scheme by, by the definition factorizes through one of the schemes in the direct system defined in the in scheme. And in scheme, X is, called, is, called, is said to be strict if it can be represented by a direct system such that all the morphisms in the direct system are closed immersions. We will assume all our in, in schemes to be strict, that's the, the usual assumption. A morphism of its schemes is said to be affine if for any scheme T and any morphism from T to X, the in scheme T Cartesian product with X, Y is actually a scheme, and the morphism of schemes from the, from the pullback to T is affine. Similarly, the morphism T is said to be flat. If for any scheme and T and morphism from T to X, the pullback of T and Y over X is actually a scheme, and the morphism of schemes, the pullback is flat. We are interested in flat affine morphism of schemes phi from Y to X. And such morphism can be represented by a diagram of flat affine morphism of schemes phi gamma from Y gamma to X gamma indexed by a directed facet X. So phi is a Direct limited quotes of pi gamma, and this is in fact holds for any morphism of the schemes. But moreover, in the case of a flat affine morphism of, of the schemes, one, so any morphism of the schemes can, can, can be obtained as a direct limit of morphism of schemes. Uh, but in this case, one can obtain uh, as a direct limit of flat affine morphism of schemes, and one can have y gamma to be the pullbacks of x, of x gamma and y over x. And in scheme X is said to be in Ethereum if it can be represented by a direct system of Ethereum schemes, and in, and in, in scheme is in semi separated if it can be represented by a direct system of semi separated schemes. Quasi coherent torsion shifts. There are two notions of quasi coherent shifts on in schemes quasi coherent torsion shifts and pro quasi coherent torsion shifts. Quasi coherent torsion shifts are a kind of shifts on an in scheme such that every local fraction of M is supported in one of the closed subschemes X gamma. And the mild assumptions on X, but the coherent torsion shifts from, form a Grothendieck abelian category X torus. But working with it involves involve a subtlety, which I will try to explain by example. Suppose that we want to construct the category of torsion abelian groups, but we don't know what an abelian group is. All we have are the categories of Z over MZ modules for M greater or equal to 2. Then we can describe an arbitrary torsion abelian group A in terms of its subgroups or elements annihilated by M. So we can say that. Torsion of group A is a collection of Z of M over MZ modules AM together with embeddings AM into AN for all M dividing N, satisfying suitable conditions. What conditions? The main condition is that AM must precisely the whole subgroup of elements annihilated by M in AN. The subtlety is that the factor assigned to torsion of group A in subgroup MA is not exact, it's only left exact. So if one defines the category of torsion abelian groups in this way, then constructing co-kernels on this category becomes an untrivial task. So one has to define some kind, develop some kind of shiftification theory, embedding the, the desired category of shifts into a larger ambient category of pre-shifts. The co-kernel of a morphism of shifts is then constructed as the shiftification of the core kernel of the same morphism taken in the category of pre-shifts. Reasonable in schemes. A closed immersion of schemes I from Z to X is said to be reasonable if the shift of ideals of Z in X this is Bellinson's terminology. If the kernel of the morphism, the shift of ideals of Z and X, which is the kernel of the morphism of, from OX to the direct limit of OZ, is finally generated as a quasi coherent shift on X. And in scheme X is said to be reasonable if it can be represented by a direct system of reasonable closed immersions of schemes. Any in Ethereum in scheme and reasonable. Any in scheme flat over, or, or affine over reasonable in scheme as reasonable. Quasi coherent torsion shift. Let X be a reasonable in scheme represented by a direct system of reasonable closed immersions. 
A quasi-coherent torsion shift m on x can be defined as a set of data assigning to every index gamma a quasi-coherent shift m gamma on x gamma, and to every pair of indexes beta that n gamma, a morphism from the direct image of m beta to m gamma. So I have the corresponding morphism from m beta to the inverse image with supports of m gamma is an isomorphism for every beta left and gamma, and the triangular diagram of structure morphism is commutative for every triple of indices. Due to the isomorphism condition three, the category x stores of basic torsion shifts of x on x doesn't depend on the choice of a direct system of reasonable powers and notions representing a given reasonable scheme. Dropping the, the, the isomorphism condition three from the definition of a quasi-coherent shift, one torsion shift, one obtains the definition of a gamma system with coherent shifts on x. The category of gamma systems is obviously a coordinate abelian category, but it depends on a chosen direct system of reasonable cause and inertions representing a given reasonable scheme. The category of gamma systems play the role of the category of pair shifts in the analogy suggested above, but the category of quasi coherent torsion shifts is the desired category of shifts. The inclusion of the full subcategory of quasi coherent torsion shifts into the amb ambient abelian category of gamma systems has left a joint functor, playing the role of the shification functor in this analogy. Using the inclusion of the category of gamma systems and its left joint functor, M to M plus denotes the left joint functor to the inclusion of torsion shifts into gamma systems. One can show that the category of quasi-coherent torsion shifts is also a growth in the Gabilian category. Proc quasi-coherent pro-shifts. The definition of proc quasi-coherent pro-shift on an scheme X is technically simpler than that of a quasi-coherent torsion shift, but the resulting additive category is usually not a bigger. One needs to impose some flatness condition on one's pro quasi coherent pro shifts in order to obtain a well behaved exact subcategory in the poorly behaved ambient category of arbitrary pro quasi coherent pro shifts. Let X be in the scheme. A pro quasi coherent pro shift P on X is defined as a set of data assigning to every index gamma a quasi coherent shift P gamma and to every pair of indices a morphism from P gamma to the direct image of P beta. So the, the, the difference with the previous definition. Either here we had a morphism from the, the direct image of M beta to M gamma. And here we have a morphism from P, beta, P gamma to the direct image of P beta. Such that the corresponding morphism from the inverse image of P gamma to P beta is an isomorphism, and the triangular diagrams of structure morphism are commutative. Due to the, due to the isomorphism condition, the category of pro quasi coherent pro shifts on X doesn't depend on the choice of the direct system of all the merchants as gamma representing a given scheme X. The category of pro quasi coherent pro shifts is naturally a monoidal category with respect to the tender product operation given by the obvious rule. This essentially this works because the inverse image factor preserves standard products. Inverse image factors preserve standard products of quasi coherent shifts. The pro structure pro shift with the components whose components are the structure shifts of gamma is the unit object of this monoidal structure. The category of quasi coherent torsion shifts X stores is naturally a model category over the monoidal category X pro. For any M in X stores and P in X pro, one considers the gamma system of tender products. But then the quasi coherent torsion shift, the tender product quasi coherent torsion shift is constructed as the purification, the N plus. So if, if, if the gamma system and gamma is given as the, the gamma is is the gamma system of tender product, then one needs to take n plus construct the torsion shift of tender product. Direct and images, brief summary. For any affine morphism of reasonable in schemes F, the direct image functors F lowest star from y towards to x towards and F lowest star from y pro to x pro can be defined, and the former one is exact. It is exact because the, the morphism seems to be affine. For any flat morphism of reasonable in schemes, the inverse image functors f of upper star, inverse image of upper star from x toss to y toss and, and from x pro to y pro can be defined and the former one is exact because the morphism is assumed to be flat. The assumption f actually can be relaxed, but these special cases are sufficient for the purpose of this talk. For any closed immersion of reasonable and schemes, the functor of inverse image with supports can be defined. The functor f upper star is left adjoint to the functor of lower star and the functor i Lower star is left and joined to the functor i upper shriek, whenever both are defined. Let x be a reasonable in scheme and x gamma be the natural i gamma from x gamma to x be the natural closed immersion. Then one has i gamma star p is equal to p gamma and i gamma shriek m is equal to m gamma. So the components of a pro quasi coherent pro shift and quasi coherent torsion shift arising in the definition which I gave above 
are simply the inverse image, uh, the usual inverse image and the in inverse image of supports. Dualizing complexes or in the, on in material in schemes. That x equal to direct limit of x, direct limit, direct limit of x gamma be an Ethereum. In, in, no, I wanted to say in Ethereum in scheme here. Then a complex of injective quasi coherent torsion shift T in X tors is said to be a dualizing complex if for every index gamma, the complex of injective quasi coherent shifts, the complex of, of gamma components of the, of the complex D or, or the chic inverse image of the complex D is a dualizing complex on the scheme of X gamma. One can check that this condition on the complex of injective quasi coherent shift, torsion shifts on X doesn't depend on the choice of a direct system representing X. Noted that by the definition, a dualizing complex D is an object of the homotopy category of unbounded complex of injective quasi coherent torsion shifts. Another name for this category is the quadratic category of quasi coherent torsion shifts. D core of X torse is equal to K of X torse injective. A dualizing complex on a scheme cannot be viewed as an object of the conventional derived category D of X torse. Let's consider the in Ethereum negative half of our standard example. Specifically, let X be the in quote, direct limit in quotes of XL over L less or equal to zero, where XL is the spectrum of XL, etc. XL minus X minus one. So X zero is equal to spectrum K is the, the point. X minus one is an affine line. X minus two is an affine plane, etc. The closed dimensions are the most obvious inclusion of coordinate hyperplanes. What is, the dualizing, what is the dualizing complex on X? To construct such a dualizing complex D, one needs to specify a dualizing complex DL on every scheme XL in such a way that it is noted by IL from XL to XL minus one, the, pole, the coordinate called the dimension, but would have a homotopy, at least a homotopy equivalence. DL isomorphic to IL shriek, upper shriek, DL minus one, for every L plus or equal to zero. Any dualizing complex on Excel is a multiple equivalent to an injective co-resolution of the structured shift to some homological degree. The condition that DL is equal to AIL upper shift DL minus one means that, mean that if the only homology shift of the complex DL sits in homological degree N, then the only homology shift of the complex DL minus one sits in the homological degree N minus one. For example, if the complex D is zero is quasi isomorphic to O X zero without shift. Then the complex DL is quasi isomorphic to O X zero of minus L for every L less than zero. As L tends to minus infinity, the only cohomology shift of the complex DL moves to ever higher negative cohomological degrees and then the direct limit disappears at the cohomological degree minus infinity. Consequently, the rising complex of quasi coherent torsion shifts D on the in scheme X is acyclic. Quadratic category of quasi coherent torsion shifts. That X be an Ethereum scheme. As above, a complex of quasi coherent torsion shifts is said to be quasi cyclic. If for every complex of injective quasi coherent torsion shifts J, the complex of Holmes is a cyclic from A to J. The quadratic category is defined as triangulated Verdier quotient category of the homotopy category of quasi coherent torsion of complexes of quasi coherent torsion shifts by the localized category of quasi cyclic complexes. One can show that the composition of triangulated functors. From the homotopy category of torsion shifts to the homotopy category of all shifts to the homotopy category of the quadratic category of torsion shifts is a triangulated equivalent. So, in particular, a dualizing complex D on X is naturally viewed as an object of the quadratic category of quasi coherent torsion shifts. Um, so I, I have a question. Scheme, a pro, a pro quasi torsion shift F on X is said to be flat. If the quasi coherent torsion, if the, if, the, if the quasi coherent shift F gamma on X gamma is flat for every gamma and gamma. One can check that this condition on a pro, pro quasi coherent torsion shift on X doesn't depend on the choice of a direct system representing. The if category X, X flat or flat pro quasi coherent torsion shifts on X has natural exact category structure. A short, of the sequence of, a short sequence of flat pro quasi coherent torsion shifts is said to be admissible exact in the exact category of flat pro quasi coherent torsion shifts. If the short of the sequence of quasi coherent shifts is the, uh, the short of the sequence of components, gamma indexed components, is exact in the ABM category of this gamma Q Koch for every gamma and gamma. The full subcategory of flat pro quasi coherent pro shifts X flat is a monoidal subcategory in the monoidal category of pro quasi coherent pro shifts X pro. The tender product of operation is exact in X flat. So once again, the, the, the category of pro the whole category of pro quasi coherent pro shifts is, is poorly behaved homologically. It, it doesn't have a 
a good result critical destruction. It is not abelian, but the, the full subcategory of flat properties of coherent shifts as well behave. Absolute covariance and growth individuality. That X be an Ethereum in theorem, that X be an inseparated in Ethereum in scheme for the dualizing complex. Then there is natural equivalence of triangulated categories between the co-derived category of quasi coherent torsion shifts and the derived category of flat for quasi coherent torsion shifts. But D of X plus is the conventional bounded derived category of the derived category of flat for quasi coherent torsion shifts. The factor from the flats to the co derived category is given by the rule. So it is just a tensor product with the dualizing complex. But tensor X denotes the action of the monoidal category X flat in the modular category X stars. The inverse factor is denoted by our home X quasi coherent from D to dash. It is the right derived factor constructed by applying a certain quasi coherent internal home type factor to complexes of injective torsion shifts, injective quasi coherent torsion shifts. So this is, uh, this is. And uh, in, in the theory in scheme version of the theorem of Morfet, a, a generalization from 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 Mathurian schemes, which was known to to in schemes in Mathurian schemes, which is a new setting. The cotensor product for any in scheme X, the tensor product of flat properties within for shifts induces a well-defined tensor product functor on the derived category of flat properties within for shifts, denoted by tensor upper X. For an in Ethereum in scheme X, the quadrived category is, is a translate module category of the translate tensor category. So there is a translated tensor action functor to, 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 to a complex of flat shoes and the complex of torsion shoes. So the complex of torsion shoes is the same. Now, given an intimacy separated in Ethereum in scheme is a dualizing complex, one can transfer the tensor translated structure. Of D of X flat along the triangulated equivalence between D of X flat and D co of X stars. The resulting operation on the, on the co derived category is called the cotensor product and denoted by cotensor product of a box of a D. Explicitly, let M and N be two complexes in X stars, and let M to J and M to K be two morphisms in the quasicyclic cones, where J and K are. Injective physical hidden torsion, complex of injective physical hidden torsion shifts. Then the three complexes. And this is the formula similar to the previous one which we had. So one can take M and tensor it. M is a physical hidden torsion, complex of physical hidden torsion shifts. One can tensor it with the complex of flat for physical hidden torsion shifts applied by applying home from D to K. One can take home from D to J and tensor it with M. And one can take home. Both from D to J and from D to K, tensor them as take the tensor product as complex of flat properly and shifts, and consider the, the related complex of injective physical hidden torsion shifts. These are naturally isomorphic as, as object on the quadrat category. The three complexes represent the quadrat category object M tensor. M, M cotensor of D N in D core log stars. The quadrat category endowed with the cotensor product operation becomes a tensor triangulated category. The dualizing complex is the unit object of the standard structure. Semi derived category. Let, now let's turn to the relative setting of flat affine morphism in schemes phi from y to x. We call that if x is a direct limit of x gamma, then y is the direct limit of y gamma, where y gamma is the pullback of x gamma and pi of x. Moreover, pi is the direct limit of pi gamma, where pi gamma are the flat affine morphism. The induced flat of morphism schemes. Assume that X is in the theorem. The semi derived category DX SI on Y tors of quasi coherent torsion shifts on Y relative to X is defined as the translated Verde quotient category of the homotopy category of quasi coherent torsion shifts by the thick subcategory of all complexes A in K of Y tors. So I have the, the, the direct image of the complex A is a, a thick viewed as a complex of quasi coherent torsion shifts on X is quasi-cyclic. And I recall the definition of, of, of quasi-cyclic complex is that home into complex of injectives is acyclic. Informally, the semi-derived category DSIX of y tors is a mixture of the quadrat category along the base scheme X and the base in scheme X and the conventional unbounded derived category along the fibers of the morphic pi. The direct image functor pi star takes quasi-cyclic complexes to quasi-cyclic complexes. It also preserves and reflects the conventional cyclicity of complex. Consider the, the semi derived category is an intermediate with the quotient category between the co derived and the conventional derived category. 
In other words, there are natural cardiac motion functors from the co-derived category to the semi-derived category and to the conventional drug. Then the morphism pi from y to x is an isomorphism. So y is equal to x. The semi-derived category coincides with the co-derived category. If the homological dimension of the category are x tops is finite, for example, x is a regular, not in scheme, but a regular scheme of fine flow dimension, then the semi-derived category coincides with the derived category. A quasi given torsion shift k on y is said to be x injective if its direct image is an injective quasi given torsion shift on x. The full subcategory of an x injective quasi given torsion shifts inherits an exact category structure from the ambient abelian category of all quasi given torsion shifts on y. For any interference in scheme x and any flat of fine morphism on schemes of y, the composition of triangulated functors from the homotopy category of x injectives to the homotopy category of all y torsion shifts. And to the semi derived category, induces a triangulated equivalence between the conventional derived category of X injective quasi given torsion shifts on Y and the semi derived category of, y tors of torsion shifts on Y relative to X. Here, here D of X tors X injective with the conventional bound derived category, with the exact category Y tors X injective. Prosciutto slide of the base. The proc quasi coherent prosciutto G on Y is said to be X flat if the proc quasi coherent prosciutto P star G on X is flat. Just as the additive category X flat of flat, flat proc quasi coherent prosciutto on X, the additive category Y X flat of X flat proc quasi coherent prosciutto on Y has natural exact category structure. A short a short sequence of X-flat proxy green proxies is said to be admissible exact in Y-X-flat if the short sequence of flat proxy green proxies on X, which the short sequence, if the, if, the, if the sequence of direct images is admissible exact in X-flat. This is the definition of the structure of Y-X-flat. For any flat proxy green proxies F on Y and then X-flat proxy green proxies G on Y, so if f is flat and g is x flat, then the tender product is x flat. It's an x flat proxy green for shift on y. So uh, there is a tender product iteration from y flat and ten times y x flat to y x flat. Relative covariance are relative visualities. So this is the generalization of the of the previous theorem to the set, to the relative setting. Let X be in semi separated in the theorem scheme with the dualizing complex D that pi from y to x be a flat of morphism of schemes. Then there is, there is a natural equivalence of triangulated categories from the semi between the semi-derived category relative to x of the given torsion shifts on y and the derived category of x flat with the given proc with the torsion on y, where d of y x flat is the conventional bound derived category of the exact category of x flat proc with the given torsion on y. The factor d of Y x flat to d s i x y tors is given by the rule. So it is the tender product with the with the, with the pullback of the dualizing complex. The inverse functor is known by our home uh, y, y q c from p star d dash. It is a right drive functor constructed by applying a certain quasi coherent internal home type functor to complex of x injective quasi coherent torsion chosen by. The semi tender product. Let pi from y to x be a flat of fine morphism on schemes. But we need to construct a left right functor of tender product of x flat, x flat proc with coherent portions on y. Tensor yl from d of y x flat times d of y x flat to d of y, y x flat. x flat proc with coherent portions on y are only flat over, along x, but need not be flat along the fibers of pi. So the tender product needs to be derived. For this purpose, we use uh, relative bar resolutions for the morphism y to x. Given the complex of x flat proxy green pressures g on y, consider the bar b complex. So this is a push forward, pull back of push forward, twice pull back of pull, pull back of push forward of pull back of push forward, three times it is the same, etc. One can write the bar differentials and organize the bar b, bar complex. We should they be complex because g is already a complex. And denote that by denote by bar pi of g its totalization contracted by taking coproducts along the diagonal. Then bar p is a complex of flat proxies given portions on y as a morphic to g in d of y x flat and adjusted to the tender product functor tender over y. 
for any two complexes f and g in pair of ix flat, the three complexes one can take bar, bar, bar resolution of f and, and tensor it with j, one can take bar resolution of j and tensor it with f, and one can take bar resolution of both and take the tensor product. They are naturally isomorphic in the drag category of x flat properties for unit for shifts on vary. These three complexes are presented derived, derived, the, the, the desired derived tensor product object in the derived category of x flat properties for human proshifts on y. Similarly, assuming x to be an Ethereum, in Ethereum, one contracts the left derived function of tensor product of x flat, x flat properties for human proshifts and quasi human torsion shifts on y. So here I have y in the sub index. So to, to, to a complex of x flat properties for human proshifts, and, the, and an object of the semi-drive category of quasi-coherent torsion truths, an object of the semi-drive category of quasi-coherent torsion truths is assigned. Given two complexes G and M in the respective categories, one needs to either replace G by its bar resolution or replace M by its bar resolution, which I now know by this curvilinear bar. It's similar to the bar resolution of G, or both, or replace both. Then the three complexes bar of G tensor M or G tensor bar of M or bar of G tensor bar of M, are naturally isomorphic to the semi derived category. These three complexes represent the right tensor product object. G left to right tensor product over Y with M in the semi derived category. For any flat affine morphism of its schemes, the derived category T of YX flat is a tensor triangulated category with respect to left derived. With respect to the left derived tensor product function, tensor YL. Assuming X to be in Ethereum, the semi derived category DC, DSI, X, Y torsion, the semi derived category of quasi coherent torsion shoes on Y relative to X, is a triangulated model category over the derived category of X flat for quasi coherent torsion on Y. With respect to the left derived tensor product function, tensor LY. Now, given an in semi separated in Ethereum in scheme X with the dualizing complex DX, and the flat affine morphism of schemes pi from y to x, one can transfer the tender to the structure of t of y x flat along the triangulated equivalence t of y x flat to dsi of x of y torus. The resulting operation on the semi drive category is called the semi tensor product and denoted by diamond p star dx. We have seen this relation already. So it is a tensor structure on the semi drive category of quasi coherent torsion shifts on y relative to x. Explicitly, let M and N be two complexes in Y torus, and let M to J and N to K be two morphisms whose cones become co-cyclic after applying pi star, while J and X, J and K are X injective com complexes of inje X injective quasi coherent torsion shifts on Y. Then the three complexes M tensor left derived tensor over Y with the quasi coherent home. So, this home YQC is a complex of X flat properties for unit shifts on X on Y. Mm -hmm. Although one can tend that M, which is a complex of positive torsion shifts, with this complex of X flats, or one can tend that direct tensor them in the other way to take, take the, the assign to J, which is as almost to M, uh, a complex of X flats and tender it with N, or one can. Tensor two, the right tensor two complexes of X flat properly coherent torsions on Y and consider the corresponding complex of quasi coherent torsion shoes. The, the three are naturally isomorphic as object of TSI of Pythors. These three complexes represent the semi drive category object. Um, diamond P star TXM in the semi drive category of quasi coherent torsion shoes. On y. The semi drive category of quasi coherent torsion shifts on Y relative to X and dot with the semi tensor product operation diamond is a standard triangulated category. The inverse image of the dualizing complex is the unit object of the standard structure. The, the semi tensor product conclusion. The semi tensor product operation diamond on the semi drive category is semi infinite in that it produces doubly unbounded complexes as outputs, even when given bounded complexes. We have seen this in the, in, the, in, the, in the introductory part of this talk, where in the standard example of the semi drive category of torsion modules over the topological ring R, this is the topological ring R that we have seen. This is the uh, projective limit of 
ring of, uh, rings of polynomials in infinitely many, many variables. We had the, the, the semi drive tender, semi tender product diamond is the unbounded, z graded, or z, if you will, if you like, z infinity or two plus z graded complex. Okay, this is, these are all the slides. So this is the, the short list of references. Murphy, uh, 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 these are related to Murphy's dissertation and Neyman's paper. This coherent, this paper in Selecta is my paper where the semi algebraic, algebraic geometry program is outlined. This is slides going back to the year 15 of previous talk on semi algebraic geometry. Which, well, back, the, back in 15, it was a conjectural program of semi-infinite algebraic geometry. Now it's partly realized that this book, which was published by the Kruiser. Thank you. This is all I have to say. Um, thank you, Leonid. Uh, let us all unmute ourselves and give a round of applause to the speaker. Any questions, anyone? If you have any questions, you can write them in the chat or you can unmute yourself and speak. There is a question from Dimitri. Can you see the chat, Leonid? Let me let me see the chat. Mm. So, Dimitri asks whether I have a question of floor homology in, in, in my semi algebraic geometry. No, I, I have to admit that I don't know what floor homology is. So, no, 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 not as far as I can tell. Okay. That's a very precise <laughs> answer. <laughs> yeah, Leo? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just saw a mic. Um, I was I had a question in mind. Um, so you have these uh, Noetherian in schemes. Can we do something for stacks? I so I expect that for, for in Noetherian in schemes should be replaceable by in Noetherian in stacks, but I never also I never tried to work it out. So I, I presume that it, it it should be doable for for right. For stacks, and you 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 can you can start by trying to generalize Neyman uh, Neyman and Murphy the Murphy theorem from schemes from Noetherian schemes to some kind of Noetherian stacks. Right, right. I I I, I don't have, my my experience with stacks is somewhat somewhat limited. So I I I, I presume that so there are several directions of generalizations to be considered. One would like to re replace affine fibers by quasi-compact fibers, for example. Right, right, right. Uh, affine fibers is, is obviously too, too too restrictive an assumption. One, one would like the morphism to be, to be quasi-compact, perhaps, but not, or, or locally quasi-compact, in quasi-compact, but but not not affine. Uh, and one would like to replace in schemes in the in the, in the base. Uh, by in stacks, so so right. yeah. this this has to be the details have have to be worked out. So I I I, I didn't do that. I haven't done that. And this co-derived cat. I mean, I don't have the slide in front of me, like the page where this information was present in front of me. Of course, there was a a big co-derived category of torsion sheaves somewhere. Uh, I wanted to ask if that guy had a single compact generator. Mm. It was D co. No, the, the semi the quadratic category of quasi coherent. Okay, here is the quadratic category of quasi coherent torsion chips. Right. Um, yeah. It it is compactly generated. The semi derived category, the quadratic category of quasi coherent torsion chips, and the relative its relative version, the semi derived category of quasi coherent torsion chips on y relatives to x are compactly generated. But I don't think that they have a single compact generator. Okay. Because even if you consider an Ethereum scheme, then 
uh, even in a, in a fine appearance scheme, then the compact, compact objects of the quadratic category, which is the homotopy category of complex of injectors, compact objects are form the bounded derived category of coherent shapes. So the compact object of the quadratic category is the bounded derived. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 yeah, the bound bounded derived category of coherent shapes. And I don't, I don't think bound the bounded derived category of coherent shapes on on a scheme has a single compact single classical single yeah. generator has a single generator. No, no, there are examples where that doesn't happen. I think. I mean, if you take x uh, like a spec R even, and R is a non J two Noetherian ring. Uh -huh. Sorry. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Non J two. What what does it mean? Yeah, there was a paper by Iyengar and Takahashi, where they have proved. I, I can't remember the exact definition. Like there was J one, J two, some commutative algebra. Yeah, was some conditions. Yeah, which showed that if D B co like if D B small mod R has a classical generator, then that should imply R is J2 or J1, I can't remember. I can have a look. I, I see. So this is, yeah, 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 I, I wouldn't expect it to be, to be true in general. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is not true in general. This is not true. Okay. okay, thank, thank you. you. So thank you. any uh, other questions? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so, so these are compact generated triangulated categories, but, but, but probably not for the single compact. Single compact generator. Right? Any other questions? Any questions? Any more questions? Anyone? Let me see. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, Leo, you wanted to ask something? No, no. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. No, I think Leo didn't want to ask something. I just saw that. Um, his mic got, um, what's the word? Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, there is a question <laughs> in the chat. No, that was Dimitri. That was Dimitri. Okay. Yeah. 